What's up tech heads? So we have some exciting Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 4 classic news today and the leaks continues. So today we're going to be talking about the storage capacity that the smartwatch is going to come with and it's quite interesting. So again, if you guys like this format of videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. So this leak showcasing that this device is going to come with 16 gig of built in storage. Now this is absolutely incredible. As you guys know, the Galaxy Watch 3 had 8 gigs of storage and the Galaxy Watch Active 2 had only 4 gigs of storage. So this is almost doubling that of the Galaxy Watch 3. And I think this is going to be incredible because we're going to be getting new apps to download with this new Wear OS. And I'm excited to be able to have a lot of space to be able to install these apps on. 16 gigs of onboard storage is incredible and this is a really really good thing for this device now what i'm interested in seeing with this is are they going to have different capacities when it comes to the different smart watches for instance is the galaxy classic going to have more storage than the galaxy watch 4 we gotta wait and see how that all goes down but again if 16 gig is what you get as base for both of these devices, man, that is going to be a steal. So that is not the only leak that we got today. We actually got some news about the chipset that's going to be powering this awesome smartwatch. And it states the Galaxy Watch lineup will be powered by the new 5NM Exynos W920 chipset, which boasts of 1.2 faster CPU performance and a massive 8.8x increase in graphics performance compared to the Exynos 9110 which was found in the existing Galaxy watches and there will also be 1.5 gig of RAM accompanying the chipset so you guys might see this and you guys might be like oh this is not so good but just so you guys know the previous Galaxy Watch 3 had also 1.5 gigabytes and if anything I can say is that I hope with this new clean Wear OS that it doesn't require a lot of RAM because that was the issue with the previous Wear OS devices you need a lot of RAM to get great performance but if Samsung is helping Google to make this, we know that the Tizen OS ran really well with 1.5 gigs. So hopefully things are streamlined to give this uh, new Wear OS a better performance at just 1.5 gig. But it's going to be pretty interesting to see how well this device runs with this 1.5 gig of RAM. All right, fellas, that's all I have with the news today. Again, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, any Wear OS smartwatch news, which I'll be covering that in here. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, fellas, peace out.